Land ends are like Mangi Pega, and you understand. Kukubega and Dona. Sometimes Gasimpio inspires me, and I see a lot of growth. For Simpio, I only thought by artists for like white people, boy, because in Kulele Kasi. I'm Zube, 25, Salamas Pumelele, and the artist. I do mainly painting, sculpture, and photography. I was born in Jobek and spent three years there, but I grew up in Maspumelele. I had to go to Alandayenza ever since I was a kid. Usugela ka great ar, utisha la wa onum zobo wa mokala, ndizo bei kandle la wa te, nenga tunesa kono, so unespiu. So from that day on, jakali sa kono zoba gengoko, and then utisha la ba meskolwen, be sitting, guwezo zoba pae poti, netisa na banyabandwa na ba zoba yeskolwen. Usimbiwe came to the school as a kala o grade eight. Eka le fish hook, so that's on teach creative arts. But get what I'm teaching creative arts, I could see Ukuti, there's talent in this boy. Simpio is perfect, if I could say, because you talk to him about business and you can talk to him about philosophy. He's open minded. There was a time, Koko a group, so Chaiva, a lot of people, they were going to go. They were going to go to Chaiva, they were going to go. I was raised by a family of Andaba Mnyama, so art is, has always been that thing. Bang, I understand the engine. We come in terms of Mali. Time is as Mali. In Gondo, we have to make a call to land. But we are not in the Tanda. In the basic thing, I've had the support from my mother, who so from a very early age, but alone, I'm done alone. Next people say art. So my we born, we come down on God, God's over land. My call, which is. There's a skill as per tell you up a boy. You know, there are kids that you can talk to and they will actually hear you. And there are kids that you know whether you say whatever you want to say, it won't matter. But with Simpiwe knew. Because I always said to him, Simpiwe, you've got money in your hands. Don't lose the money. And yeah, things happened. Good things happened. Kumbulan Galubo Msebenzuaikeyo. Many shocked, many shocked. So much talent. A cool age, quiet, a talent age, meanings. I think I've always been good in what I did, especially in painting, because I spent a lot of time trying, learning, trying to understand, and I continue still with the special needs studio, making art, trying to learn from my mistakes. We will see people who like to go draw each other portraits. We saw a band like Happy Luxin, even if they are from some city town. We look at the training and the plans. We are more than just just book and book. We have no coping in the afternoon job. In in high school, I used to make e paintings as the as the interest. So I used to paint. If I'm painting you, then I'll paint you the same way you you look. But Goku, my work is more about thinking around materials. Around it's it's more imaginative and and emotional. Sometimes when they grow up, most they don't even actually know what to be an artist and talent. And luckily, I teach them in GET phase and also in FET phase, so I, I could see talent just by seeing them being comfortable in the class. Landa ends are like many people, and you understand, like for a start, like I'm coming and doing. I'm like, what's going on? Yeah, bro. My aunt told me this one time. She was like, "I got a simple le ati ako le nuyen za yongo ku." And and he turned the money. I in particular, he got jail. He turned the art to learn how to use the high school. He graduation year, end of the year. They looked at the work and 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 they were they were really impressed and they understood. I explained it and they understood. I added this piece because like basic story, the art, like a third party learner. Then, now I'm the young. 
Gena kwa sisi story sakuba. Wow, yabo njelo zenga yao na yao utali sisi ba sisi story saku kwa ngali ati yako like iya inspire isha lawe. So na amdi tenu ipega and I understand, but at the end after and galel like what's going on ngali piece of ati yako. Na am I felt in love na ngali weba I wins in fun. That's the story saku. And for me that was that was um, that was beautiful. That was that was a success. I mean, I'm trying to design, it designs as a six. But what I'm trying to emphasize is what we call the contrast. Like for instance, I cannot make it design a semicircle next to another semicircle. Then one simply will change up or make another idea in order to create a, a contrast. Art education is really, really expensive. You have to buy materials all the time, different projects, you have to constantly, constantly buy materials. On top of that, the fees are expensive. And I come from a family which could not support my hobby. It's a very expensive hobby. <laughs> for Simpiwe, I, I only thought by artists for like white people, going because in Kulele Kasi. Doesn't matter about YP, but if you have the talent for art, you can pursue your talent anytime, yeah, I was lucky to have known artists such as uh, Jane Alexandra and Peter Clark, the late Peter Clark, who supported me and also have introduced me to Kizgolo as Zenzai Art. I bet Zangandi understand them, but I can't bet him and come back the art because I'm saying, yeah, I know I'm now I'm good at this thing. Why do I have to go study this thing? But you know, it's fine. Just, just learn. I've encountered uh, difficulties in a lot of difficulties in my career. Adversity, what happens is, we get introduced into a whole range of, of systems of making art. Yeah, well, in second year, they send the painting, send the sculpture, send the loan. And I know myself from now as a painter, and I tell you again, don't go there and let that school change you. I felt like there was no point, especially if I had to do photography. I had to do all these things that I thought I wasn't interested in. But at that time, little did I know about this exposure. And it was boring, it was difficult, the, it was, we didn't have money then, I wasn't selling any paintings. I remember going to tell my professor, hey, no, this thing is very difficult and I quit, I was very emotional and I couldn't take it. She managed to convince me and showed me about, okay, no, there are artists out there that are making it big, that have been to the art school too. That's the very same art school I was at. And she was like, you must look at Temingo Sigoniwe, you must look at Zoletum Tetua. They're enjoying their career, they're doing what they want. And I think that stuck on me, that helped. How do we live together? Uh, then I started looking at uh, fashion. I started looking at disability. I started looking at, at ways in which people, certain people are ostracized or marginalized by the system or our ideologies of how we see the world. My work has had an impact on certain people in the way that I use color in the way that I stitch materials, different materials, sometimes clothes, sometimes leather, onto canvas to make it look like it's poor or it's slow and yabo. Most of the materials I use, I get them from second-hand stores. Koma ole tabateng simba pa. An item like this, uh, I would use it for a sculpture. So if you look at my figures, they're always wearing shirts. And I'm interested in the history of Impata as a second-hand store. How do they get to the continent? How do they get to Africa? I've learned that Africa has been used as a repository, actually, as a dump site for the West to throw off all these clothes that are donated by people that have excessive amounts of things and I look at things that have happened, particularly to black people, like in 2012, uh, massacre, yeah, boy. so that pain, those things I'm, I'm drawn to. 
adversity, basically the resources, yeah, but because we went to metal work, we had all the tools we needed to escape, yeah, but after school, my practice has been slightly shifting. Gogo, I don't have facilities to do e welding, send your paint and gogo, and I work with materials that don't need heavy equipments. This is my work and this is my studio. I'm currently preparing for exhibition, yeah, which will be later on in the year. And I am working on these uh, canvases and a uh, few photographs. As an object, it's talking about eating, it's talking about food. For him, it represents a weapon of survival. When somebody is looking at my work, I want somebody to look at my work and feel and feel something, either through the color that I use or the way that I stitch, the way that I treat the canvas as if it's a body, as if it's a skin. One of the first artworks in Ibona, it was, it was an art artwork. It was more for sculpture versus painting. It was, it was kind of abstract in a way, so it was a nice picture. I was shocked because I didn't have creativity in here. In that background, you're fashion. So I bring back elements of e design in my work, and I've looked at uh, sartorial groups, like Aboswenka, uh, Eskotane, uh, Gentlemen of the Congo, and Lasape as a Congo. Those people who are dressed like, you know, swag, they inspire me. I think they're very brave, they're very creative. So if you are so it's a cool and was seven, sir. I'm a tire, come seven, so I'm in a tea. Zip landers cooler, your patting at the cooler zoo in York. This funu uluma abanda bahamba, yap. So Glenny Peace, if Coco Amataya cooler, your country. A cum Amataya represent the corporate world. And I look at the corporate world as if they, they are snakes. Hence, I put them gay landscapes up as if they are growing plants that just grow everywhere in the land, biting people that are walking, trying to eat, find something to eat. Actually, I've been watching all these exhibitions just, just from the first year in Pure. And for me, I could say, Ukuti, it made me realize, Ukuti, sitting in your own space, in your own community, kids need to go out there and see what other artists are doing. There are bigger things, there's different variety of artworks that can be done by Abandwan. So Umsulens Gassimpiwe inspires me and also see, I see a lot of growth. Uh, we're out here at the National Gallery, Iziko South African National Gallery, where one of my work is being shown. Let's go see it. So yeah, it's been a very positive and privileged uh, position to have gone to study uh, art. It opened up my ways of thinking around art, ideas around what artists are making, which artists are making what, where, and then also it put me in a position, in a better and privileged position in terms of exposure because right after a grad show, a graduation, um, I had certain offers from different galleries who wanted to work with me, and I'm in that position now. It's exciting actually to um, have my work, Kule uh, Collection, the Akumbula and the Ape Iziko. And the same the workshops, the illustrations, no zapiro. And the thing about one day, one day my work will be in this space. It took a lot of patience and discipline. Eventually it's here and it feels, it feels amazing. And I think it's the beginning of exciting things to come. One of the reasons why we've placed this work in the exhibition, firstly, is the fact that it speaks to a local and a global issue. Being homeless, issues of refugees. I mean, within South Africa, mm. we have citizens who feel or are made to feel like refugees in their own country. When I started doing the piece, I had collected these drums. I saw them and I was like, it would be interesting to use them as plinths. Mm. So as if I'm surviving or I've conquered anything that is related with how the waste bin can, can be read. Mm, mm. So I looked at them as, as, as a podium mm. when I started. 
And I think for me, what I really love is, I think everybody, is that hand reaching out for that umbrella. Yeah. And the umbrella being this perception of, of, of hope amongst all of the, the darkness, all of the struggle. Yeah. There's that, that desire to find something better. I was thinking about the township space as like a raft in itself, like really clustering mm. so many people mm. and, and bodies that are, you know, in this violent space, dying, struggling to actually come out of that mm. and, and, and be free. So it's like you want to hold on to this thing so that you, it can enable you to fly out of, mm. out of this whatever the mess rumble is. or whatever yeah. the mess may be. Yeah. exhibitions, reputable Cape Town. And the work has actually managed to get me to places like South America. I remember the other day he came to, to my house. And then when I looked outside, we could be more, then I was so happy for Mchita. Osimpiwa loves to give back. It's called initiative to the life, like in Olucha. Like we are working on it. We are, we are encouraged about it. And what he, ma'am, can I please help him at grade 12 so that they can be able to understand what is expected at, at varsity level. And then we simply came to the school and at that time we were busy preparing our own exhibition for grade 12. And the simple would come and make like a provision for a whole week and say today this is what we're going to do. Tomorrow we're going to be mounting. To, at a certain day this is, I'm going to show you how to exhibit, you know. And I was like looking at this boy spending his own time here, coming at early in the morning, leaving very late. a 100% attention. Each and every student, who simply doesn't choose good, this is a boy, this is a girl, he was just, just busy helping. So for me, Daimbon Gutu Simpiwa is really going to be out there and be working with Alangyamandwana based in the communities. Currently, I'm uh, working on a piece, um, and is I donate a library. So the library bought uh, my early artworks when I was in high school, so they supported me. I want to make an artwork that is going to be for donation. It's a fun artwork with lots of vibrant colors, movement, and it's going to be a simple work on paper. I hope Abandu Mazo appreciates the artwork. Simpiwe has an incredible work ethic, Kebo. He puts in so much energy into his work. So, up and then, the painting, the acrylic paint, the duct tape, and then up and then, the painting. This painting is inspired by the Majita Sekas. The Kulensen, the Pansu, the Yabo, the Chita, Yabo, and the Pistra, the Apelan, the Napping, and the Namas Pumelele, the Zwang, the Pansu, the Zwang, the Chita. Ever since that my artist, I've started taking on the performance and that jitanga and how the history of Pansula in South Africa. In the in the in the in the way Abaji Taseka se performing ayo, freeing ayo, seven se umbrella clubs. Sometimes a club A1. So, a library in the end, a arranger no su, su Alexandra, or you direct a pie library. The library is, is a space by a corner, for Gwenzi Siviza, for Uprinta, for Ribi sessions, and poetry, and philosophy. Even Abandoana Banging, they go there to play games and to study. The artwork in the end is if you have a little bit of element, you can see the artist who seems to be doing well. <laughs> in my community, then, I want to have a span Apple span some original and later on I will do a mural in Japing House. Yeah, I think I'm gonna finish this work in time to present it to the library today. It's it's a work on paper, so the paper uh, dries quicker and it's also acrylic paint so it also dries quicker. 
So I've done my details. Uh, it increases as long as it does a full new focus. So I've already tackled that. And the rest of the painting is going to be using a, a big brush and covering the rest of the background, which shouldn't take uh, it's a lead. I'm seven to look a bill and walk. So I'll be a signature. I am, and then say I'm beginning to see you niggas again. Look, pie live. I'm excited, man. The work is looking good. And the color of sign a random seven zone. Kakuba loan was over say library. The funeral band of Bobo and um seven zone. Hi, 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 and when the lay after the Kabilagan will go for the art because after the Kum Sebenzi and the calendar wins are before and you often the art and then go to Lona Kubekeka, Um Sebenzi after the Gungo for the Goy one is up the library and hopefully it will uh, be a beautiful addition to the library. Wow! Wow, thank you so much. We've got your old. I see, work, I see, see, I see, yeah. I see. Yes, 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 old work. Yeah, so it's just very different. Yeah, let's see. I can't yeah. wait. It's like a present for us. Wow. 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 wow! This is the artist it's speaking clean. here. Hey. Now, this is a painting. If you want to go to the church, I'm going to say, I'm going to go to the church. I'm going to go to yeah, 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 Mara um do try to get langa langa teta no buy ndo ni ya mo. Kum sebenz omse londi bona yo ngai interpret ang endela ya. Usun pio endi teta no mule langa kulunge painting ya ke. In in whatever he does, he remembers the library. He always remember uba usuka api. And e library yo namdo iye yam shape how buy ben londo angu ye nam change. So, si Tarazelela Rakul in the Ofmana painting, it means a lot to us as I, I Mas Pomelele Library. So, we've done a display for you here mm -hmm. of one of the people who has been legend. very important in your life, the legend Peter Clark. So, we've got pictures of you and his books, and we also have your book here. He was a special friend of the library, a special friend of us both and a big influence on all our lives. Wow. <laughs> I, I always call him my son. Uh, I would say, hey, yes, I see myself going to explore in the industry, in a different part of the world, and then come back at a later stage and be useful too. I knew Okoti, you're going to make a difference in life. People who like my work can follow me on my Tumblr blog uh, called Simpi Zube. So if you just Google Simpi Zube, then you will be able to see my portfolio. And you press follow.